Welcome everyone to my Bar Mitzvah celebration. Thirteen years ago on Yud Beis Cheshvan, the 13th of Cheshvan, I was given the Hebrew name Shalom Yeshaya. A boy is named at his bris milah, circumcision, when he enters into the covenant like Avraham and becomes a full-fledged member of the Jewish nation. My name is more than a convenient label or way to refer to me. It is a statement of pride in my Jewish heritage. According to Kabbalah, when parents name a child, they experience a minor prophecy because somehow that child's destiny is wrapped up in the Hebrew letters that makes up his or her name. Our sages teach us that one's entire life is influenced by their name. Knowing that my parents received divine inspiration when they named me, there must be an important lesson I can learn from my special name. My name is Shalom Ishaya. I was named after my maternal great-grandfather, Shalom Ishaya Deitch. Zayda Shalom Shaya was born in Kharkov, Russia, to Mendel and Hinda Deitch. He grew up in a home that did not have a lot materially, but whatever they did have, they made sure to share with others. During wartime, his parents ran a soup kitchen out of their home and brought food to those confined to the hospital. He spent five of his late teenage years in the Russian army. In his, arm, in his army unit, there were mostly non-Jews, and they would see the way he never compromised on his Torah values. He never ate anything other than bread and water. He was extremely careful about keeping kosher and, in, and didn't cut corners even under harsh times. They respected him a lot for this, in addition to appreciating his warm and friendly, upbeat personality. All who came in contact with him from all walks of his life had a tremendous love and respect for him. This special personality was something be he inherited from his mother, Baba Hinda, who was also a very principled lady, yet had a jolly and bubbly personality. After the army, he married his first cousin, Merle Rubin. They moved to Samarkand in Uzbekistan to live with his parents. They, then they moved to France, where my grandfather Abyasev Deitch was born. From there, they moved to Norwalk, Connecticut, and then to Brooklyn, New York. Once in 770, the Grand Chabad Shul, where the Hasidim should pray alongside the Lubavitcher Rebbe, the Gabbai announced the Ufrof, traditional gathering, the Shabbat before one gets married, for the men in the congregation getting married that week. My Zaydi Shalab noticed a young orphan whom he knew was getting married that week, and his kiddish was not announced. He realized this, that this young groom was not having an ifruf since he did not have family around. Immediately, Zaydi Shalom stood up, clapped on the bima, and announced, This man ifruf will be in my house. The next thing you know, my Bubba Merle, his wife, got a surprise crowd of about 60 people. She quickly whipped up some tuna, herring, crackers, and whatever else she had in the fridge. In addition to his charitable and kind personality, Zayda Shalom was a very meticulous in keeping the Halacha, Code of Jewish Law. He made sure that no matter where he was, at work or at home, he went out of his way to learn every day and do what he had to do. As I'm becoming a Bar Mitzvah boy, I hope to emulate my great-grandfather and I'm sure I'm giving him lots of nachas as he is smiling from above watching me carry on his legacy. May we merit the ultimate redemption with Mashiach and be united with our loved ones. Amen.